Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we'll be wrapping up the dust collector build. So uh, we've got the base here that we've built for the bucket. And uh, we designed this in OpenSCAD, so you can check that out over at OpenSCAD.DIY3DTech.com uh, if you want. And find out more on the code that we use to do this. And so uh, let's take a quick look at uh, uh, cutting this out. Um, Unfortunately, time lapse ran a little bit short at just the very end. The camera ran out of memory. Lucky me. Uh, anyways, uh, let's take a look at that, and we're going to jump over to the workbench and look at installing this on the bucket itself. So, uh, time lapse and in, install on the bucket, and then we'll take a look at everything put together. Okay, we're back at the workbench and one of the things I want to show you is dust. Um, I did have this hooked up for when I was milling out uh, this the, 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 the bucket piece of it. So just want to show you, it really does work. Actually I was very pleased with how well it did work. Um, so you can see it's a, a pretty fine dust too actually. So um, anyways, so you, when you do a dust collection video, you got to prove that it actually collects dust. I, don't, dust. I don't know. That seems to be the mantra with these things. So anyways, it did work. So uh, good thing. Let's go ahead and start assembling the base and then put this together and then uh, we'll do that. So we have the general base here. So and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the TPU feet and we're going to put the TPU feet on here. And uh, long story short, um, I've designed the TPU feet actually for these particular screws because they were done um, on my customizer on Thingiverse uh, that I had done in OpenSCAD. So kind of a uh, kind of interesting. Both the the uh, foot piece here as well as the feet themselves were all done in OpenSCAD, so again, pretty versatile package. Um, and again, just screw the feet in, not too hard. And again, one of the reasons I'm doing this is I want, a, it's go, it, it is a bit top heavy, and I wanted to uh, uh, provide a sort of a little bit of bottom weight, and but I don't want too heavy because I got to pick it up. So, so here's the assembled product that's going to go on the end of the bucket. Uh, our first, I'm going to go empty the dust out of the bucket. Okay, so we have it mounted on the bottom of the bucket. I took and washed the bucket out a little bit to get the sawdust off of it. Um, so in short, what we've done is we've just taken a number six, uh, two inch number six bolt, put it through there and into the bottom of the bucket. And then we have the TPU feet. And you notice it extends out, so it gives the bucket a little bit of extra support because what we're going to be doing is we're going to have the um, top unit on here, the, the cyclone unit. So as you can kind of see here, maybe you can or you can't, I don't think you can see the whole thing, so um, kind of get an idea. Um, this is going, this mounts on here like this. So this provides a little stability. I think, I don't know, as you can see, this is kind of on the top of this. I think I'm going to add another piece on here for support. Cut out another piece on the CNC for support. Okay, so through the magic of video editing, I went out and I cut um, another top on the CNC machine. And I cut it to match this, uh, you know, top opening, because you can see it's kind of serrated here. I don't know what you call it. Um, to, to match this and I, I've epoxied it down to the the um, the the bucket lid to add extra rigidity so you see it's it's far more rigid than it was before with just the bucket top uh, so it's a good thing and so uh, all in all pretty happy with the way that this is uh, uh, turned out so got the feet on the bottom of it here um, add extra stability and got the top here set up. I've got my, um, you've seen the video, I did, I've got these mounted on here with my couplers 
And so let's go hook it all up. Okay, so here we are. We have the unit assembled, and if I can see my finger here. So we've got it all plumbed in. Um, still have to get a couple more elbows because I do want to change this elbow down, this to an elbow. So I take some of the tension off because it runs down from the ceiling, from the piping in the ceiling to here. Because uh, also apologies for the lighting and the sounds. We're back in the sump pump room corner of my basement where I've got this in the vacuum. And uh, so the lighting's not the best back here. So anyways, this is how it kind of all goes together. And uh, very, I like the stability of it now that it goes out past the uh, bucket edge. Because uh, the bucket itself was a little bit unstable. Um, if I had a little bit bigger piece of material, I'd probably made it bigger. Uh, and I may do that in the future. Um, biggest I piece I had was 12 inch wide. I can cut up to I think 14 wide on the CNC, uh, but 12 is as big as I had, so I may do a 14 later. But it's it's pretty stable now versus just the bucket because you can see the torque of all the hoses pulling on it, especially this one down here. That's why I'm going to put another. I'm going to put an elbow on there and have it coming up so it loops down and comes up. But all in all, as you saw the sawdust in it, hey, this thing works pretty good. Very happy with it. Um, and one of the things that, that, you know, really nice about this setup, so I've got, uh, whew, under, th well, not including the orange hose, which I had the orange hose before going to the vacuum, uh, less than 30 bucks in this whole setup. So I've printed the feet, the base, I made the adapters, all the PVC plumbing, maybe five bucks, bucket five bucks, 20 bucks for the thing. So right around $30 for a pretty darn good dust collector and again made the adapters for the top of the bucket and it was a fun project so I'll have links down below for if you want a, a cyclone and again you can pick up a you know the bucket at one of your big box uh, home improvement stores and uh, works works pretty good and again even if you don't have a CNC or you just have hand tools and that was one of the reasons that I mentioned that I wanted to leave this as a coupler on, on, on this piece right here is uh, if I want to use hand tools too, because I, I I I end up getting a bunch of this hose off of eBay really cheap, for like 50 bucks for you know an unbelievable length of it, and, and so I'm gonna have this also go to my hand tools too, so uh, I can plug in hand tool either to the central system or directly to this and uh, have it work. So, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be making a lot more dust with this in the CNC, so a lot more projects, so make sure you're subscribed so you get updated. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.